Okay, for this one we're going to, we're going to bottle up uh, black ale batch number two that's been put into two uh, one gallon bottles. We're going to go ahead and put uh, those into, we're going to prime them with two drops of the uh, European sugar drops I've got. And we will also try bottle number three from my first batch. Um, matter of fact, let me go get that now. Can't have a homebrew Wednesday without having homebrew, right? So this is bottle number three of my first one gallon batch of black ale. One uh, drop of the uh, Cooper's uh, sugar drop. So this has had another week to prime as opposed to last week's. Seems to be a really light on the carbonation. The next week's bottle will have two drops and will be the final bottle. alcohol comes out on this. Uh, God knows, God only knows what the actual ABV is. Yeah, it's definitely stronger than 5%. Uh, but what we'll do before we, of course, before we bottle the second batch is uh, I'll uh, put the hydrometer on it, see what our our ABV is on the second batch, do a taste uh, without uh, carbonation, and after having had this one, I should be able to get a feel for uh, differences since I diluted it, and also uh, used a laundry bag to strain out some of the stuff between the between the mashing and the boil. I'll show you a picture later uh, after this. It'll show the uh, tube on the bottom of the gallon glass containers. And you'll see there'll be a noticeable difference between those and from the first batch. So I'm hoping there'll be a noticeable difference in flavors and stuff like that. Well, dinner's almost ready, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside, get ready for dinner. And after dinner, we'll be uh, bottling some beer. Okay, had dinner. We're gonna have a homebrew. So we got our two one gallon jugs here. Down on the floor, I've got uh, 14 uh, washed and sanitized bottles. I got my siphon. I got my uh, name that too. <laughs> anyway, um, got that. So. I'm going to go ask for my wife's assistance this time so I can get the pump going and then I'm going to put in the sugar afterwards so I'm not wasting sugar putting in bottles that I don't even use because these bottles are wet you put the sugar in it it dissolves and you start washing again so I'm going to put the sugar in last this time alrighty so let me go get the wife we'll get the pump going and see what happens alright like I said this is a three-handed operation so, okay, some things don't work as easy as they, you think they're going to. Oh, that works. Slow. 
slowly, 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 slowly. I don't want to disturb anything that's on the bottom. Okay, you just hold there. I push there. I do one more. Pull, pull it down, right? I need to get a solid. Theory. Uh, everything's in theory. This looks to be pretty clear, even though it's dark, black. Probably can't even see my head. later on is come back and see if I can top these off just a little bit more. This is bottle number four here, which is about all we ended up with before because I used to oh, spitting in my bottles. Because I used some for the uh, <laughs> test and the alcohol percentage. So that's four bottles. So if I want to do that again, suppose I can do that, I can do that, let this set aside, and try the next bottle. Let's see what we can do here. Jim, I'm a doctor, not a brewmeister. Don't want to make that. So that answers that question. I am going to have. Oh, I'm still green. So I will have to have her help me pump to start the next bottle. Took it all out. Okay. So, oh. Ten ten. Is it reading? So the question is. How's it taste? Non carbonated, warm. Let's see. Batch number two, black ale. No off aromas. Much better. Much better. I 
I think if we get the temperature, the ferment, fermentation temperature under control, we'll have a good beer even with this black ale. Hmm. Outstanding. Well, guys, you know, I'm uh, really excited about brewing beer again. So, my one gallon batch, number one. Too strong. Just, <laughs> no. One gallon batch, number two, I diluted. Filtered from the mash into the boil. Room temperature, no carbonation. I get no off aromas, no off taste. I can't wait to see how this is going to taste after it's been primed for two weeks and refrigerated. I think this is going to be one of my best beers, by golly. Really happy. Cheers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.